All right, oops. Tripping over my boy's shoes. Okay, we're going up to the garden. There's a plate sitting here. What the hell's going on with that? Nick! Put my chapeau on. Try to keep the sun out of my eyes. Oh, there he's up there getting mad. He's trying to figure it out. I had to leave the dogs in while his goes out. And I'm going to go up to the garden, lug you around with me, and we'll uh, maybe see if we can do a little bit of weeding. It's ever bright out here now. There's the dog that chewed my dog. Where are you going with that? Oh, he's gonna pee. Good. Yeah, Cut that on film. Okay. Throw her in there. Got to put that cover on the same way. Yeah. No, 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 no. Throw it over this one first. All the way. No, wait. Lift it up. There. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep this up top. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to catch it first. Hang on. There, now do it. So it catches on both sides. There. We're good. We're good. Where'd the dog go now? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and do some weeding. Okay. These freaking sunglasses make me feel like I'm gonna fall over. Yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Where's your stick? Hey, where's your stick? Give me your stick. Go get it. Yeah, cause I don't want to mow it. Where's your stick? There it is. All right. So, young feller came in here and he cleaned all this up. Don't know why, but we can get in here. We got a couple of oak trees in here somewhere. But that's good. The garden don't look too bad. We are going to have onions this year, I think. Maybe some beans. And I don't know what those skinny things are. Those are cucumbers. Those looks like radishes that went out of control. Oh well. And we do have some beans here. Oh, there's something else popped up. Not sure what's in there. And carrots. Beets. Thank God it's starting to come now. I gotta get the camera later. And I've got some animals on the camera. And a little story to go with the one there we got. So we're 
Now what happened to that branch? I think he forgot to turn the garden hose on. We're supposed to fill the barrel up. That's this is the third day for that one. He tried lighting a fire last night in the rain. That wasn't very productive. The main garden looks pretty good. Nothing's growing. Oh, the potatoes. We got a few more popped out. This looks pretty good. Ah, kind of soft. We'll see how soft it is when I go in here. Whoops, just lost me hat. All right. That's our blackberry patch. We're doing good on them. We sure are. This is the grape. That's a deader. That's a done deal there. And I'm going to take the cedar, not these. But uh, we get some over there to get a bunch of these cedar railings. Or posts or whatever you want to call them. Over by the garden. And we're going to uh, uh, cut that up into kindling. So I'm just going to check it, see how wet it is, the step on here, and we'll do a little bit of weeding, there's quite a bit, I was down here the other day, hang on here, got to get this in the right hand, I need to get a bigger one of these things, because this thing here works pretty good, this is a uh, I got this from uh, the States. It's called a rogue hole, but it's not big enough. And I can't bend over, so I don't want to frig up my, uh, my eye. I had a kick out of that. My cousin said, I said, do I have a... On a sad note, before I tell a other side of the story. I had a cousin, my cousin's wife died the other day. And she was a real sweetheart. She was only 75. Fit as a fiddle as far as I could tell. She didn't seem to have any ailments. But, uh, what the hell, this isn't working with crap on there. This works good down like this. So anyway, she had a... Something happened to her heart. and That was the end of that. She had a excruciating pain for three hours, I guess. And that was it. And she passed. But... Uh, this is where I need Nick to come here with us. And do all the bending for me. So anyway, let's uh, go to today. Just a little while ago, my, I told my another cousin that I was thinking about going down to see the funeral. Go down there and say my goodbyes. And uh, would be able to talk with the rest of the family. And she said to me, what about your eye? And I said, I'll bring it with me. And she goes, huh? I says, yeah. I says, I'll bring my eye. They gave me a nice box to put it in. And I'll bring it with me. And she don't quite get that. She thinks maybe I got a glass eye. But she didn't respond. She's been busy. Now, this is not bad. This is kind of working. Look at this. Dirty varmints. Oh, under freaking rocks. See, my wife spent... The reason why this isn't growing here, boys and girls, 
is my wife decided that it was more important to pick rocks than it was to plant potatoes. And she said, you'll be, pra you'll be happy that we did this. Well, after about 50 freaking buckets of rocks, and you can see there's a bazillion rocks left, the, uh, <laughs> it didn't make any difference. But we, we ended up putting the potatoes in about two to three weeks later, which had an effect on the, uh, them coming out of the ground. As you can see, there's hardly any potatoes here. There's a little bit on that first row. And I can't think they're acorn potatoes, whatever the hell that is. Never heard of them before. But we might get lucky. There might be some more. Under here somewhere. They're about a... They're about a foot apart. Oh. There's none there. There's hardly any on this whole thing. Maybe we take a little bit of the top off it and help it grow. So my experiment, or my wife getting involved, it wasn't very good. Kind of screwed up my potatoes. Because normally, the size of those, my potatoes are twice as high as that. And you can't see the ground by now. That's how good a potato patch I can usually grow when, it's, when I'm not involved with the little woman there. But you've seen, I think I showed how many rocks there was. There's a ton of freaking rocks. No, that ain't no potato. They don't have to be under the ground very much. But I don't even see any evidence of a potato. And this dumb piece of fence here. But you can see, look at the size of the rocks. Some of the rocks that are in here, they're big. Oh well. And that's that batch there's all raspberries. But I'm gonna have to come up here in the blackberries, so I'll just come up here with the hedge trimmer and I'll just knock all that down. I'm still recovering from the getting tangled into those freaking blackberries last week with the mowing. There we go. Now we'll go down. Give it the old college try, I guess. We'll get rid of the worst of them. Because we don't clean them up. They just keep getting bigger and more and Look at the damn rocks. Huh. Oh well. It's hard in the old hand after a while.
All we can really do is just rake the surface rocks instead of doing what I did the last time. Trying to make her happy. Following orders. You know, the privates know better sometimes than the generals. All right. So I got a deal, or I got an idea. I just got to see if I can follow through it somehow. I've got a large stand of, uh, well, yeah, a couple of stands of cedars, and some of them are dying because of the damn beavers. And I'm thinking about uh, seeing if I could trade off some of those trees for uh, lumber, cedar lumber, that I could use to fill that uh, garden up there full of uh, big planks, like 4x12s and some 4x4s, or whatever, and pound them all together. Probably only need 2x12s. Then I can uh, get into doing raised beds. I'll have to uh, fill the bottoms of the boxes up with, uh, you know, trees and leaves and grass and whatever else I can get my hands on. They don't look like no potato. It ain't. It ain't. Eh. What's that? That's the potato right there. Didn't catch. Oh well. We'll get a little bit of potatoes. Next year, that's enough. I've had enough of this. Oof. I can't walk with these sunglasses on. It's got my feet all frigged up. Yeah, let's go get the game camera, because I want to relocate it, so we can see what else might be walking around up here. So, so far, I've had a buck, a doe or two, and a doe and a fawn come through here, right here. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, I'll be right back. Just got to go over here and get it. There we go. I'll come up to the garden tomorrow.
So. This is all going, getting overgrown quick on us. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Here, take this first. This hole. Stick it in Mom's bucket. I ain't doing it anymore. I've had my fill. All right. All right. Now I'll just stay here, and then when it runs out, I'll come down. Okay. And shut it off. Okay. You head. You heading out? Uh, soon. Not What's really. the ribbon for? Um, oh, there's an oak tree right under there. Oh, okay. There's an oak tree there. But, like, you couldn't, like, we couldn't cut those anyway, but, and, like, there's a, there's a few stumps, like, here sticking out. Yeah, we gotta, fit. so you gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get that. If they're small enough, you could take the big pruner with it. But, like, now you can come up along the edge here and yeah. do a good job in there. Sounds good. You like it better? Yeah, I don't mind if I don't even see that hedge there anymore at all. To be honest with you. What is it? Well, if it was removed, then the more morning sun could get in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we still got to get in here and hustle well, they, these rocks. Well, they will be removed over, over time. They'll die out themselves. Yeah. Okay, I'll, water on. Okay, I'll just sit here and wait. We'll have a little chit-chat in here. There's the row of... Another row of damn rocks. That woman loves her rocks. So what do we got here? There, we got a little bit of lettuce. That's, that came up out of over here. She picked it up and stuffed it in there. We're listening for the water here. Here she comes. We had to hang it up through the tree because last year I thought I could mow over it and I did a few times. Yeah. Well, guess what? I had to fix the holes because I went and whacked it. And we got a little bit growing here. Pretty grim. It's laid out pretty good. Oh well. We'll just sit here for a bit and fill this thing up with water. I don't like to waste the water because it does rain here quite a bit. Oh, it's inside. So, I got this eye done. They put a, a new lens in there. I don't know whether it's glass or plastic. And uh, I'm supposed to take it easy for about a month. No heavy lifting, no bending over. Keep my fingers out of it. I already got my fingers into it. And then, you know, when, you, when you're tired and you get that sandy kind of gritty feeling in your eyes you give it a the old knuckles I did that the yes, yesterday of course I had to do it right in front of my wife and she just went whoa whoa what are you doing anyway we'll get it the other eye so I got one month of this to heal from and then I get this one done and I'll have another month to take it easy and then the potatoes will be ready to be dug and all that other stuff and we'll have to get at it. But I'm thinking about, if I get, I got a whole, a whole bunch of cedar that's dead, dying down there because of the rotten beavers flooded it and it kind of drowned the plant or the trees. So I could trade that, all that, those trees off and somebody could saw it up, and I could fill these things up with beds. Now, I'll have to take a look online and figure it out. But I'm thinking about, say, the 
depending upon the size of the logs, if we cut them all, uh, say, 10 feet or 12 feet long, and they're 12 inches high, two boards high, with a 4x4 four four in each corner, and I could hammer them on there, or actually I'll get some screws or something, something rugged to suck those things in there. Now, they will be up about as high as that stand is with the water jug on it. Or uh, thereabouts. And I'll fill it up with, I got some old posts laying around here. I got a bunch of stuff. And I'll just keep filling them up with that and other crap that's around here. Branches and whatever I can get my hands on. And I'll just buy or shovel a bunch of this dirt in over top of it to be done with it. Then I'll just take all the, down there. I've got all the bags of sawdust that I got from uh, the guy who delivers the wood. And we'll fill in all the pathways with it and we're done. So every year I just have to go and get a few bags to replenish some of the... Uh, growth that may be coming up through the uh, sawdust and we will have a weed free garden and everything that we have to weed is be up a little bit closer to us so we don't have to bend over so much Ooh, look at the size of that bugger now there's a oh I guess it isn't big there's baby onions there how about that huh we like our onions. I like garlic too. And those are all chives and they've already gone to seed. I think we just come in here with the uh, scissors and cut the tops off. Now you can do something with this stuff here, this garlic scapes, but I don't remember what it was. Post. I need to build a proper one. That's just kind of like a vegetable garbage thing. It just stinks by high heavens. But it looks like within another week or so we should have some beet greens to eat. Those are good. It's all these rocks that we got to get rid of. It's not so bad in this garden because we hauled a ton of rocks out of here last year. Where's this water coming in here now? Can't see the level here. It's up to the first ring. So we'll just sit here a little longer, I guess. And of course, I can't see how the time is on this. So I don't know when the battery's going to die. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll put new batteries in my game camera and give the these batteries to my son for a while and then he can go and buy his own batteries for his camera hmm we had corn in here twice once there once there and once there again I think it was and the only time we time we ever had corn was on there over here, the raccoons got into it and knocked the plants down. Looked like an elephant sat his ass down right in the middle of the freaking corn patch. And we've had potatoes in here once in a while, too. That's what gave me the idea of, uh, let's just go make a proper potato patch. 
No, turn it wide, wide open. No, I'm only at the first ring. Yeah, come back in 10. And then I'll just say it's full. And then my wife will say, well, there was hardly any water in it. And I'll just say it must have leaked out again. That way, I don't have to sit in the sun all day long. And we can get to fixing this thing. Now, my idea is to flip it sideways. Get a bung for the top, but I'll have to take a look at it to see if you can thread something in there. And re then, because this is crap, doesn't matter, I'll leave that there and put the hose on it and leave the valve open. So we, instead of it being up like that, it'll be just laying on its side then in the future. I think that'll work just even better. That way this doesn't have to fix because that's where the leak is. And up top, we can f fill it up from there. And these little containers here, these watering cans, they'll fill up fast. Out that big hole. But we will see. What we're going to do, we don't know yet. I got that for Christmas one year. It's a little beehive. What are you supposed to put? Bees are supposed to go in there. Yeah, right. I haven't seen a bee around there at all. Oh, squirrel. Over there. This is beautiful out here. When we first came, and I seen it right off the bat, I just fell in love with this house. The siding was falling off. It was just a friggin' disaster. And then we started putting money into it to see if we could fix it up. Oops, do you hear the buck snort? Okay, let's go. I'm going to sit around waiting for this. There's a pepper. Our tomatoes. Cauliflower, maybe. Car going by. People see through their truck. It's Irving. The bastards, they're the ones that do the spraying. They do spray glyphosate over their trees to kill all the trees that have the leaves on it. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. And you'll hear the helicopters going on flying all over there buzzing it with their spray and the spray drifts the dogs freak out and we can smell it up on the deck and it may have caused me to have a reaction to my autoimmune system in the summer of 2016 where I was hospitalized for two weeks and spent four days in ICU. Oh good. Two of them died. Maybe. One died for sure. I'll take those sticks out of there and I can mow in there. But this is where all the rocks from the potato patch ended up. And believe me, that's about a foot thick. That's a lot of rocks. And what a waste of time. There's all the branches. We got to get that done now. 
cleaned up. I want that off my lawn. Oh, well. Let's just take a quick peek up here at the field before we go in. I want to... Uh, oh, it's humid out. Let's go over to the shade. And I got to get him to come and give me a hand. We'll uh, clean out all the... Uh, all this stuff. So I can find my buddy's trees buried in there. He says he's going to cut it back here. He's going to bring us. He has a special saw. It's called a spacing saw. That will uh, just cut that stuff up like nothing. There's a tree right there. There's ten of them. Well. Got some kind of bird there it looks like. Could be a chicken or it could be a robin. Oh, I think it's a chicken. Whew. Oh, look at that. Cleaned up nice. Oh, I should have been watching because it's gone now. Where did he go? These glasses are freaking not very friendly. Don't know where it went. Oh well. Nice to see this done anyway. Gates closed, good. She's overgrown. This used to be the apple orchard right there. You can't even see in there. The deer come up through there. And I haven't seen the wild turkeys uh, since spring. This here was... You see how thick that bush is there? This Lover's Lane here, we call Lover's Lane. From about where the, the old woodshed is, all the way up to that corner there, to the corner of the field on the right, this was as thick as that. And I had a, didn't have a chainsaw at the time. I just had a, a machete and a little hand saw, like a, a pruning saw, I guess you call it. And I started cleaning it all out and burning it. There was a barrel down here. And I just burned all the brush in the barrel over the summer. And then the next following summer, we had a bulldozer out here trying to fix the problem with the water in the front yard, in the front driveway there. And I got him to make a run up and back with the uh, bulldozer and he pushed the crap all over the hill which was nice so I'm going to go in this way uh, well maybe I'm not I was going to according to my son we got some siding melting what the hell is that how did that happen yeah I'll do that okay. I just got to go in and shut this thing off okay. There, say hi to your fans, Nick. Hi, fans. <laughs> Did you get some good footage? Oh, yeah. We'll probably have ten viewers. <laughs> <laughs> to get that wire next. All right. I'm going to shut her down right here while I go in. 
and shut the water off and whatever. So you guys all take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.